What's up Wolverines? I'm Andrew Hernandez and I'm Matthew Gudinski and welcome to another edition of WBLN. Let's bring everybody up to date in the recent attacks on Israel on Saturday by Hamas, a move that took the Israeli military and security services by surprise and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has declared, we are at war. More than 700 people reportedly were killed in Israel and more than 400 in Gaza. According to the Associated Press, since Saturday, Israel has carried out attacks against Hamas launching Operation Swords of Iron. Hezbollah, an iron-backed organization in the U.S., considers a terrorist group alongside Hamas. On Sunday, launched a barrage of mortar shells into Israel. The Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, fired artillery into Lebanon. No casualties were reported on either side, according to the Reuters. Dozens of Israeli Defense Forces, IDF fighter jets, struck over 200 targets in Gaza overnight. The IDF said in, a, said in a statement today the targets were in a Rimo and Khan Yunus neighborhoods in Gaza, where the IDF claimed a number of attacks against Israel were directed from the IDF, said it struck an Islamic Jihad terrorist infrastructure in Khan Yunus. A Hamas storage site located inside a mosque and operational terror infrastructure used by Hamas terror operatives, among other targets. The fighter jets also struck a number of operational residences belonging to the Hamas operatives, as well as a Hamas operational command center located inside a mosque. U.S. political leaders are now expressing support for Israel as IDF strikes on Gaza intensify and death toll rises on both sides. President Joe Biden confirmed Monday that 11 U.S. citizens have died in Israel in the recent fighting. He said that it's also likely that Americans may be among the hostages that Hamas has captured. The militant group is threatening to start Israel to start killing the hostages of Israeli if the attacks don't stop. The Biden administration says it is closely working with both Israel and Qatar. Officials in Qatar are in contact with Hamas about the hostage situation. The U.S. has also pledged military support. The Pentagon is sending what it calls a surge of air defense and munition to Israel. And the Navy's most advanced aircraft carrier, the USS Gerald Ford, is on its way to the eastern Mediterranean. As Israeli and Palestinian protesters take to the streets here and abroad, dozens of people were hurt during a stampede at the pro-Israel -Isra candlelight vigil at the University of Florida Monday night. They're being treated at a hospital in Gainesville. Multiple people were trampled after a personal fainting, after a person fainted during the event. Witnesses say that the sound from the fall startled the crowd where there was an estimated 1,000 people in attendance. Injuries ranged from broken bones and concussions to minor cuts and scrapes. There are reportedly no life-threatening injuries. Police said that they have no reason to believe there was any malicious intent behind the incident. Back here on campus, the, U the Model UN team does it again this weekend. 17 delegates led by juniors Nicholas Rotolo, Luis Laza, and Emerson Patmore competed against local Model UN powerhouses, Cypress Bay of Weston, Doral Academy, and FAU High School, hosted by the number one high school team in the country, American Heritage. Awards for Belen Jesuit include Best Delegation Overall, Belen Jesuit Preparatory School, Planetary Speaker, Gaston Lacayo, Verbal comm Commendation, Alejandro Lurigados, Verbal Commendation, Michael Basulotto, and Emerson Padamore. Honorable Delegation, Luis Laza and Matthew Carrasco. Honorable Delegate, Rainier Quintero. Honorable Delegate, Luis Vasquez. Outstanding Delegate, Andres Plasencia. Outstanding Delegate, Michael Villa and Nicholas Valdez. Best Delegate, Matthew Villa and Ian Hol Holsten Holme. Ms. Kenna said that this was undoubtedly a whole team effort. This team will lead to Chicago and then on to Montreal in November. Congratulations to the nine honored students in the 2024 National Merit Scholarship Program. Nicholas J. Abreu, Ilana Cis, Nicholas Duque, Andres E. Fernandez, Manuel M. Gurdian, Matthew E. Lau, Juan Diego Meseguerio, Daniel A. Real, and Avery R. Suso. Nationally, more than two-thirds of the high, school, high scorers are destined commended students. They will be named on the basis of a nationally applied selection index qualifying score that may vary from year to year. We are also proud to announce that Raymond A. Perez 
has been named a National Merit Semifinalist. Additionally, 112 Belen Jesuit students have earned academic honors from the College Board National Recognition Programs. What's up Wolverines, I'm Bo Humphrey and here are your sports for today. The Atlanta Braves shocked the world as they come back 4 from 4-0 deficit to win 5-4 against the Philadelphia Phillies. While Las Vegas, the Las Vegas Raiders took on the Green Bay Packers in an unexpected upset win 20-13 with a game-winning interception from Amik Robinson. The Dolphins have an easier matchup this week as they are 13 points favorites against the Carolina Panthers as they hope to remain their win streak. That's all for the sports for today. Now back to the guys at the desk. Thank you, Bo. That's all your news for today, Wolverines. Make sure to follow us on all social medias and stay safe. And stay golden, Wolverines.